In this video, we want to find the area of the region that's under this graph of y equal 2x squared minus 3x plus 2, and it falls between x equals 0 and x equals 2. So we've got a parabola here, and because the uh, coefficient of the x squared is positive, we know it opens up. If I let x be 0, I get 2. So we have a y-intercept at the point 0, 2, and this is going to go from 0 to 2. And if we plug in 2, plug it in here, 2 squared is 4 times 2 is 8, and 2 times minus 3 is minus 6, gives me 2, and then plus 2 gives, you, gives me 4. So at the start, it goes from 0 to 2, and at the end of the interval, it goes from 2 to 4. I said the y equal to 0, I should say. That'll give us 2x squared minus 3x plus 2 equal to 0. That will have no solution. So that tells me that the graph stays above the x-axis. So at the start of this, 0 goes up to 2. And then at the end of the interval, it goes up to 4. So it's going to look something like this. Interval here, and then it goes 2 up here. And then it goes up, down over here. So the graph stays above the x-axis. So the region we're looking at, the area we want to find is this region under the, cur under the curve, the graph. And above the x-axis. So if I draw a rectangular strip here, the width of this rectangle here would be dx, and then the height would just be the distance from the x-axis to the curve, which is y, or f of x. So then we're looking at the area it's going to go from, and again, this is, starts at 0 to 2. So the integral will go from, in definite integral, from 0 to 2. And then it's just going to be the length of the strip, of the rectangle, rectangular strip, will be 2x squared minus 3x plus 2. And we have the dx here. So now all we have to do then is just integrate this. This is going to equal 2. Power rule for integrals here. Add 1 to the 2 here gives me a 3. And divide by the coefficient by 3, I get 2 thirds minus and then for the x. Integrate with respect to x, add 1 to the 1, that gives me a 2. Divide the minus 3 by 2, gives me a minus 3 halves here. And the integral of the constant 2 with respect to x is 2x. And then we simply evaluate this from 0 to 2. So we evaluate this expression at 2 first, so that'll give me 2 to the third is 8 times 2 is 16, and then over 3. This will be 16 thirds. Then for the next one, it will be 2 squared is 4 times the minus 3, that's the minus 12, over 2, plus, then 2 times 2, there is 4, and then it's going to be minus the value of the expression at 0. Everything has, a, has an x, so if I put 0 where the x is, I get 0. So this is going to equal to then 16 thirds. This is a minus 6 here. 12 minus 12 divided by 2. And plus 4. And let's get the common denominator here. 16 thirds. This will be minus 2 here, minus 6 into 4. And 3 times minus 2 here will be minus 6 over 3. That'll give me 10 over 3. 
this is the area. Ten thirds, and of course, it's square. So that's square units. Ten thirds, square units. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.